What's up? Again, it's me. You're truly know what it is. Shouts out to people out there, your YouTubers out there doing the late night thing. Actually, it's uh, what time is it? It's 4 a.m. In 45 minutes, I go to work. <laughs> I know, not funny, isn't it? But hey, it's Friday, payday, weekend. I'm not dancing right now because one, doing the vlog right now, and um. I don't know. I'm just tired. Not really. I'm just. I just lazy. I just don't feel like it. Anyway, vlog was. Uh, actually, I wanted to do a response to Dijon's, um Obama, but I wanted to broaden it a little bit, and I'll probably categorize it as a response on the page. But at the same time, I want to just broaden it out there. At first, I wasn't really going to do anything like this. Um, reasons being because it's like well. I wanted to wait until after the conventions, Democratic and Republican divisions, before I actually talk about the uh, presidential candidates in particular the election. And I was like, well, since it's really already starting to wind down toward the convention, and we got really three candidates. Excuse me. <sighs> it's still in the hunt, and like I said, uh, me, I'm not normally a political guy. To be honest with you. Um, but I do have something to say when I feel I need something to say. And of course, my say is just a little part of what's a lot to say out there in the world, especially on YouTube. My view of Mr. Barack Obama, of course, um, obviously he's a black man. <laughs> obviously he's uh, running for president. Hmm. Not the first black man to run for president, of course. And um, probably won't be the last. Now, my private problem, my, my, uh, it's not really a problem, but um, the biggest thing I see come out of a lot of black American or, uh, yeah, black voters when they talk about Obama, especially a lot of radio hosts like uh, here in Atlanta, well, I'm not in Atlanta right now, but in Georgia and Atlanta, in particular one in WAOK, he's, um, he, he puts all his rhetoric out there, Republican guy, but he supports Obama. Anyway, but um, uh, I, I see a lot of black people, they support Obama, but besides, I mean, I don't hear a lot of reasons besides the fact that he's black. I know he's black. A lot of people know he's black. And um, I don't, I mean, when I talk to other black people, I don't really hear a lot of other reasons outside the fact that he's black only reason that they're supporting him that they want to vote for him because he's black I hear other things well he's the most qualified president I don't see what the problem is oh it's about time we have a black president that don't make sense nowadays I don't think it made sense back then wherever back then was pick a decade 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s my whole point is I'm gonna say this I think it's most important that Going into this election, that we have a true American president, and why I mean a true American president that that has died, that that values what's best for American people. Now, question is, does Barack Obama have that capability? Some people do. A lot. Well, so far, so good, according to the Democratic delegates and caucuses and whatever y'all primaries are called, they do. And um. That's where really I don't know. I mean, as for the supporters, now I'm not talking about Barack Obama, the individual yet. Just the supporters who I talked to, pretty much almost every one of them is like, well, we gotta support him because he's black. Okay, and um, don't get me wrong, we do got some white supporters and stuff, but I mean, I'm not trying to make this a black and white issue thing. It's just that's what I see a lot. Now let's talk about Obama. And the only problem I see with Obama, that I think I see, um, typical Democrat. What can I say? Um, I do agree his stance on, um, or his, uh, what he sees on abortion. Or, yeah, abortion. I don't necessarily agree with him on, uh, his view on immigration. But at the same time, it does need to be resolved. I mean, you can talk to anybody about that. 
But um, that's I'm not saying that's not the biggest issue or, or any bigger or any lesser compared to anything else. The issues related in the election, as for uh, Iraq war and stuff, like I say, he's a typical Democrat. You know, um, enough said on that one. But the only problem I have with Mr. Obama is, be honest, he hasn't really said nothing. I mean, I'm not trying to make fun of the man, but, I mean, smile and the speeches and this and that, okay, that's nice, it's fine. But Mr. Obama, and, oops, sorry about that. Mr. Obama, I mean, what's your, what can you bring to the table, seriously? Okay, Barack Obama supporters, don't tell me this crap of going to his website. I said this before on a previous blog. I don't want to have to go to his website. I want to hear it from the man himself. Okay, you talk about healthcare, that's fine. Actually, let me put it, let me get specific. Let me get, let me, let me, let me, let's see if I can talk it. Iraq. Okay, y'all Democrats, and I'm using you, Obama, you know, because you're pretty much up, you're pretty much out there right now. Hey, hey, no looking back. Say you want to end the Iraq war. Okay, fine, end the Iraq war. No problem. How in the hell are you going to do that? Two. And what are you going to do afterwards? That's what, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. My mindset, what I'm thinking to an issue like this. That's just one um, example. Another one is um, talk about health care. What's your real view on universal health care? I mean, seriously, because it's like, yeah, you got people compared to other countries and stuff, but I'm like this. If. You preaching universal health care. Who are you preaching universal health care to? Are you preaching people who actually need health care? But doesn't, I mean, that actually have health care, you know, actually pay for health care? Or are you actually people, preaching to people that really don't have health care, that really need health care? It's like, I think I think he's trying to pay two folk, you know, he's trying, I don't think he's putting a more direct stance on health care. Now, her, or his opponent, 